Hello, 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 again, to my um, massive audience of uh, 15 people. Thank you very much to, uh, if you're one of the 15 who watched uh, part 2. Um, part 1 is up now. It went up 24 hours later than part 2 because of audio issues. Um, I'm sure you couldn't wait to see the uh, start of the campaign tutorial. Um, this is Ravenhawk's campaign tutorial for Rome 2. Um, playing as Sparta, we're at turn 80 as I mentioned in part 1 we started off at turn 63 you really wanted to show you sort of everything rather than grind the way up to it and show you um, why I'd done a lot of what I did and you know why I had this buffer here to protect my north um, now that I've got all the states and uh, provinces I need here I've got my foothold over Italy or Italia and my military alliance has also boxed them in nicely there and I've got a client state with Syracuse which I used by joining war with them against Garmentia or Garmentia, Gar Garmentia um, who then wanted peace with me because they pooed their pants um, when they saw that uh, Syracuse had been subjugated by me and are now paying tribute for my protection so they wanted peace so I allowed that Obviously, if they breach that, it's going to affect them quite badly um, amongst the other factions. Corsica, you'll be pleased to hear, my fellow followers, my loyal following, um, that we're going to have some action today. We're going to be fighting over this. Um, challenges, Rome did get there before me. But one way or another, we're going to be having a fight over that. Oh, I need to get this guy out of deep ocean. He's in deep ocean, so he's... Um, Taking attrition, so we'll bring him back up here. He was a scout, he was finishing off some um, scouting around North Africa for trade routes. So again, I mentioned in part one. Um, should do that early on, scout, uh, send one ship around all the coastlines. So you become aware of a load of factions as early on as possible, rather than have to wait for spies and armies and things to happen. It, you, you'll have a lot more trade routes you can negotiate early on so you get your money up because um, money is always a challenge in this game um, this town's at a negative to show you the impact a champion can have when he G's them up with military fervor you know tells good few military stories of the Spartan victories the glorious Spartan victories you know Everyone gets excited, you know, has a few beers. This one's, uh, see, they're not negative now, they're plus two. So he increased that by plus five. He had that effect on them. Just going to bring this fleet admiral up because I'm planning on bringing this admiral in. He has some fairly decent, um, effect on public order or well, he does or well, the fleet will one way or another so yeah they're at plus eight so I want to get this all up to a hundred this is what I was talking about as well see Bithynia still having attrition my theory I've decided is that it's not to do with the squalor or anything like that obviously they've got an issue but I think it's financial I don't think they can afford to keep their armies and they're taking attrition and as I showed you in part one or part two, I gave some money to my client state because they were in exactly the same situation. They they were taking attrition in their own town. They weren't under attack, so they obviously had a problem financially or economically, or you know, something was wrong. And as I said, I do know that if you give money to them, it gets them out of that rut. And they are now healthy. They don't have the red skull. As you can see, they got one army there and another army there. So it really, you know turned them around so I think I think I gave them just under a 1,500 gold to get them out of that trouble um, well worth doing if you can see an interest in it and I could obviously I want them to be strong um, you know they're a central point of my buffer defense up here uh, along with Adresian and my military ally obviously I've got my foothold up here you know so we have got a very nice building point now to continue with our campaign which is to take Italia, Syria and Persis which means I'm gonna have to upset a few people over here one way or another to get these places. I do have a few 
trading partners in that region. We'll see how that will be an interesting one, you know, for me to show you how I manage this. Rhodes just sit there on their own, just with their nice little army, not doing much. They won't trade, they won't do anything. I've tried every trick in the book to try and get them trading. Um, and I'm also going to be working on a bit more of this politics thing. I do believe if you promote someone up to statesman, they're no longer on the map and they're sitting in a town building influence. Sometimes when they get wounded, they come back as a statesman. Now you can replace a general with one of your statesmen, bring him back on the field, which is what I've done previously. I actually realise now that's probably a mistake. I should have used that to keep my influence up. It's just been continually dropping. Um, if you get, I'm sure I'm not far away from a civil war if I let this get much lower. So what I've decided to do at first is I'm going to um, I'm going to marry in someone to their family because it will help the per the family with the weaker influence so I'm gonna marry, I've chosen this one because he's probably the youngest one uh, he's got decent ambition, decent gravitas and he's got some good you know bonuses and stuff so I'm gonna marry you get plus one Garon, it's not much but so there we go married in um, New political intrigue is developed. Offer of marriage, rural families, other families, consequences have been arranged, and the balance of power has been re redressed. So we're now at 9, we're at 30%, up from 27%. Nice. I think that's his wife, is giving him a plus 1 zeal bonus. He's got some love. He's got some decent bonuses, so he's a good person to do that. Right, the next part will be to start promoting someone. I'm going to promote someone all the way up to statesman, um, and sort this influence influence thing out. Because I'll tell you what, I don't want a civil war and end up having to wipe out half my previous com uh, fellow Spartans or splitting. I think you can even split the land. You like give them half of your territories. I don't know, but it's not a good thing. It is not going to be a positive, uh, <laughs> positive thing to happen for my campaign. So give him authority. This guy is a military demoralizer. I oh, know he's not his military fervor at the moment. So we'll just give him a bit more authority for now. I think. That's really all I wanted to do in this turn. I'm researching temple design so I can start to boost growth. I'm at a real issue with growth at the moment. I kind of expanded rich it maybe too quickly. Um, I need a lot to get more growth, but it's not showing that I can even get another base there. Or well base. I keep calling it base. I don't know if this is maxed out. I don't know if that is your ma your capital has six, then you have a smaller town of four, a smaller town of three. Um, just going to move this fleet round it is an honor to serve. next to these guys we'll see what happens see what happens alright so let's um, end this turn and we'll hopefully have a kick off during the turn cycle because I reckon that's going to kick off and I think we're covered on everything else we're all good, we're all good Boudini I think I've got a trade route with uh seeing if there's any other ones I can trade with at the moment. Who are these guys? Cultural aversion. Greetings, friend. At war we with Carthage. Whatever you wish, but bring words that can oh, give it a go. Hearts. Give it a go. Trade game and chance moderate. So they rejected. Gonna need a little bit more stroking. Um or slap him with the hard stick or something. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? That just sounded so wrong. Stop doing that. Bloody hell. Look at this one. So, who else we got? Got Gutons, Gutons, Nazamines, Sardis, no, because they're a client state. Come in here. Is that the one I just looked at? I will be a patient audience for your speech. Sure that no? you come to deliver a well, look at this defensive, but unreliable. 
anyway. Let's get some trading with them. Hi. Yeah. New trader. And as I said, that came from running my ships around this area, you know, to get these people highlighted. So, another new trade. Um, as you can see, my finances are pretty healthy. 4 kids. <coughs> Uh, turns not too shabby when you're fielding an army costs over 5,000 and almost 3,000 on navy um, and I've got taxes low, I'm going to bring taxes back up actually yeah bring back taxes back up to normal as well why is that not there we go Magna Grecia is at minus 2 now though so what I'll do that's what I was on about, about managing things carefully. So I'm just going to... It's quite a lot of money to lose. Still a profit though. Um, take them off. Let's go back to that. Let's use the unhappiest now. Hellas, I can live with Hellas being on a minus two. So that's all good. Um, yeah, let's get ready to end this turn. Thanks for watching and let's get ready to rumble. I think it's, uh, it's fighting time. It's fight night. It's bloody fight night, guys. Hey, you got your tickets. Hey, you got tickets. Front seat. Front seat tickets for the Spartan engagement with the uprising in Corsica. Um, Rome decided to instigate and jump in there like the dirty bastards they are. They got in there a little bit early and surrounded the base. We're going to watch them die. Um, probably just watch them die, actually. Um, <laughs> and then take the place ourselves. So we are at the end of turn 80. Um, we're going to be kicking it off now at Corsica. Um, I'm come to the conclusion this might actually be a bug because there's no reason for me to join this fight with Rome. Um, I don't understand why it says that I will, because it's got the yellow arrows, meaning that I will assist them they attack something. I've got non-aggression pack and a trading treaty but I don't have a, an alliance so I don't understand why it sees them as a sees me as an attacking ally. I'm more inclined to just sit there and you know I've got no reason to fight and let Rome uh, <clears throat> see how they get on. I don't think they've got enough forces to win that fight without me. Right well let's get a show on the road to see if we get some action see what happens. Yeah, so they've kicked off. Uh, let's just kick this off. I'm just gonna try and make this quick and entertain. I might even throw some poisoned cows at the Romans to <laughs> just to <laughs> for entertainment purposes. Uh, see, they like a few poisoned um accidentally dropping a few poisoned cows on them while they're attacking <laughs> these rebels. Out with their morale. Everyone loves a poison cow splatting next to them. GM up a little bit. Go on, Romans, get in there. Have a poison cow in the mooey. See what I did there? In the mooey. Poison gear. Right, okay, so I've got reinforcements. Here come my ship, but de doos. Quite an impressive force, actually. Oh, look at that. Our reinforcements Rain. have arrived. Rain and lightning. Ah, oh, I mean, we can't use any flaming stuff. It's impressive, man. Got light, lightning. That's all my ships. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks quality. You can't fault them. And I, although saying that, I've you know I get these glitches if I try and run crossfire with both my graphics cards running. What's wrong with those two? Yeah, too many units, that's probably the max units then or something. Um, yeah, I get a graphic, like, there's, there's like a flashing here, the map flashes if I try and use both graphics cards. Um, turning in obviously it's been optimised for Crossfire, but not many games have. Um, crossfire is just a load of dog shit, pretty much. Any game I've tried to run it with has just had problems. So, um, should be cool. 
should be called crossfire, it should be called throw it on the friggin' bonfire. Because it's about all it's worth. It's got two two gigabyte HD sixty nine hundreds or sixty eight hundreds. Um but like I said, you know, you can rarely run the second one. It usually just causes massive problems. Uh So I can't run it. Okay, so we'll bring these ships in here. See what Rome are going to be up to. So they've landed over there. Actually, we'll bring them over here. For now, um, let's go and see what's going on with the main army. And I don't know how to sort this out either. I can't see half my bloody thingies. I don't know whether I've done something that makes them bigger. I this moment in time, I can't work out how you. Shrink this. Melee cavalry ready. Yeah, I don't know why they're so big. But you should be able to see all of those. It's a real pisser because I can't see the ammo on these things. Anyway, Field artillery. so I've got some uh, By your command. artillery. Group that up. Ready. That's not. Is that? Fuck's sake! See what I mean? Oh, for God's sake. There it is, sorry. Let's see on that one. Bring that one up. Let's get our ballist dive moved forward as soon as we can. Make sure we'll bring them over here. Have some fun with the Romans then. Take about three years for them to get there, I'll speed that up in a sec. Um, Swift riders at your select command. all. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Stop doing that. So, unselect those. Let's move the main force up. It's a pretty impressive uh, army there. As you can see. Got front row seats for the show. Romans are taking down the door. Which is Eric Argus says she's a bit shit. You know, the unit just runs up, throws some bloody things at the door and burns it down. It's not like you take loads of damage while you're doing that, so you know, I think you should either take a lot more damage while doing this. You know, look, he's got some levies doing it. And what, they've lost seven men so far by doing this. Taking the front gates down. You know, you should have to have siege equipment, I believe. Um, or something, I don't know. But they, you should not just be able to run a unit, burn the doors down, and that's it, end of. And lose. Oh, yeah, it's lost a few more men now. But still, they're only crappy levies, you know. Should lose more if you ask me. So, um, we've got the fleets coming in over here. So we're all bumping into each other, which is nice. So we can stop that a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to move it away from this now. Okay. over here. Tell you what, if you stay in this mode, you hear some hilarious dialogue. I put some up on YouTube of this, my Spartan lads. They look like they're absolutely hungover. You've got, some of them look like they're going to puke up. I recommend checking it out just for the comedy element. Some of them look like they're going to puke up. Um, we're all talking about why and how much did I have last night. Uh, I've heard one dialogue from the Gete troops and one of them says something like, did you hear that story about the officer 
And the other guy just goes, shush, that can't be true, you wouldn't do that with a goat. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Anyway, got to be there. I'll try and capture some funny dialogue if I can. So anyway, Roman's doing their the thing enemy over is here. Our ally. Oh, they are still... Oh, they did actually, you know what I'm saying there? They did get absolutely bullied. That lot there. They, they, that should be the case, you know, they're only levies, they've got no armour. Brought in Lucius Pepera. Legionnaires. Some sort of general there. Good. Burn it. Burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Oh, they're off. They're happy with that. Here they go. It's pretty cool. The guy's like defensive to pseudo. Attacking to pseudo, I think it's if you can move. The defensive one just you can't move. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So they run off. She debats their lines. The door is burning. Yeah, this does look pretty cool. Oh, I'm well pleased we've got the lightning on the go, it's for an impressive uh, bit. Oh, and yeah, nice to see him staying in formation. Yeah, they fixed that, haven't they? They the fixed the air formation glitching. Now they've tied it back up. But yeah, they only have to bump into a tree and they literally go all over the place. What's happening with the ships? So they've landed over there. Oh, they've taken a lot of landing spots up. Have no space for me to land if I wanted to. Doubt it will they. I could land a few over here if I wanted to. I'll bring a couple of ships in just to... There's a couple of ships. Um, let's bring these four. Bio command. These four Assault there. Ready for orders. Bring him in. Move out. Too close to one getting shot by his freaking towers. Ready and awaiting orders. Get okay, some range on them sometimes. Move out. Assault ship Trip ready for waiting. orders. One of these ships is a blitz What does that do? It's a gay, you can't. I think it. Eh? I think it's an anti-ship weapon. So. You must be. put that down. We'll get seasick just watching that. Ships waiting. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, you tit. For fuck's sake, Sai. You fucking numpty. What have they been firing at then? Oh, I can't throw poison rounds. It's accidentally, um. Oh, there's some over here. Don't know, might accidentally hit some Romans. Take aim. So these are the ones that have run out of ammo by the looks of it. Ready and waiting. Done. Stop now. We await your command. 
Why have they got to move to freaking fire at that? I don't quite understand that. No! You having a laugh? Have they run out of ammo as well? Halt! Ballista! I mean, it's quality, I can't even see, you know what I mean, so... Yours to command! Hey, God. Which one is that? Pellets! Ready! Can I move that? Yeah. Ballista! So, Ready this forward. one has got a bit of ammo left, but... I can't believe I forgot to do that, it's really annoyed me. Fire on the enemy! Well, you got... What have you... Why do they need to get that... Are you shitting me? Why would you need to get that close? How close have they got to get? Oh, it's doing my head in really speed. Are you having a laugh? I need to they waste loads of ammo. Our carpage getting on in here. So they're getting speared. Carpage had quite a big army. What's going on? Where's their army? Some there. Where's their main force? Oh, here we go. Got the mob. The bloody Zerg fest. Let's go for this point. Get everything else, let's just zerg uh, over here, man. In theory, they're supposed to have superior numbers. Oh, they've got some more. Oh, they've got oh, oh, elephants. Here we go. Doing very well, though. Eh? Um, they did well, didn't they? Not a good idea to get surrounded. That's some charge in here, don't the enemy general is dead. That was their general, Molly. Shaken, shaken them all. guys just look like they really still don't I still don't feel confident in this AI I mean get a bit better over here you know it still looks very uncoordinated in the AI there you go confident so why are you running away from that lot then? what are you doing? Oh, right, they want to cap recapture this. We've still got a few peltists up there, though. Oh, just throw some spears in their back. Oh, caught one right in the back. Got him. Oh, that took him down. He's not looking at it. Hey, his boys are a bit more eager. Go on, lads. Stuck in. He's not doing up here. Are oh, they coming down? Some pelters. Oh no, I'll tell you what we do. We'll run that way and then run back again. Where the fuck are they going? Close the doors. I mean, it's always comical. People running away from each other again. I just can't get over it. 
and Shogun 2. Costly enemy victory. So did we get what we wanted out of that? Can't tell. Can't tell. Just see whether that's weakened the Roman attack enough for me to get in there. And it still looks like they're um, sieging. Oh, result. We will return. Yeah, I fucking will. Pausing. Then I'll be sieging again already. I was hoping the Romans would take a few more losses there. I can't remember if I told you about this. This Bithynia still has got financial problems. They've still got the Red Skull above their troops. They're getting attrition inside their own base. And I had the same with my client state do all see, so I gave them just under a one and a half thousand gold to get them out of this. It's the one way you can help out um, client states from military alliances if they're in this financial problem. <coughs> get them out of a rut by giving them a little bit of money and um, well not a little bit, you have to give them a, you know over a thousand or a half, two thousand gold and um, it usually gets them back on um, gets them back on track no, they've got the red skull there I'm sure it's a finance thing where they can't afford to upkeep their troops yep, so they've accepted my war target against that Gete army as I said I've selected a specific army I've selected that army as I see you double click with the wall target on the map it'll bring you into this view of the map and you can select a rather than a town you can select that army there which I have done because I'm hoping the army will move out or we'll see hoping, otherwise if you just hit the town they're obviously just going to attack the town with both armies but it looks like they're going to stay there so I don't think it's going to make much difference on this occasion Okay, I'm going to leave it there and commence with part four um, as the next instalment, which will be myself, Sparta, taking that slave state Corsica. Now the Romans have been pushed back, and hopefully we'll have a bit more action.